here you've got roses, which is always the number one flower for Valentine's. At Markowitz Florist, owner Jenny Serio is getting ready for Valentine's Day. They will start coming in in the beginning of the week. This year, the holiday falls on a Friday, payday for many of us, and that means big business for Markowitz. And it's only one time a year. This holiday is bigger than all of them. Despite the Valentine's boom, Serio says her store is losing money. She says online florists based anywhere in the United States have local shops like her fulfill their orders. I will have people uh, call from a wire service in Vancouver, Washington, and who are ordering for a building that might be one or two blocks from here. Nearly 70% of Serio's orders are ones she's fulfilling for bigger online florists. Her store only sees about half the profit from online orders versus what she would make from an order placed directly to her shop. I would love to never do business with them, but in order to do that, the local people have to work with the local stores. And that was the way it used to be. Serio says she foresees the big online florists being the downfall of local shops, and she's already looking to switch careers. Because it's very physical, and you're not able to really make a good income anymore. But Serio hopes customers turn back to their neighborhood florists and buy local this Valentine's Day. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Alex Rosilla.